What's going on guys, today I'm showing you how to <coughs> What's going on guys, today I'm showing you how to How to figure out the key of your sample Of your loop, just how to figure that stuff out And I think I might also actually just show you How to also figure out the tempo of your loop at the end But yeah, for now we're just going to look at how to figure out the key So there's two ways that I do this um, The first way is um, I have this loop right here Then what I'll do is I'll open up FL keys Because uh, everybody has that You can also open up any other uh, keyboard or something like that But yeah, I'll open up FL keys And the what I'll do then is you'll click on this icon up here and um, it gives you all these different uh, scales so there's major there's minor and all these other weird ones but like most most loops and samples are going to be major or minor so um, what I'm gonna do now is I think this one is minor because like the sad ones are usually minor and more the upbeat kind of loop samples are going to be major so what I'll do is I'll click minor here and as soon as you then click it will be on the on the on the scale here boom so there you go you got it right there and um, what i'll do next then is i'll just play around with the keyboard to try and figure out in which scale it is what i mean by that is i'll just let the loop play and at the same time i'll play with my midi keyboard you can also obviously just play directly on here if you don't have that and i'll just play along the scale that i have here so g minor i have here and that doesn't sound bad doesn't sound bad oh and there you go see that a sharp that sounds completely off, so that means um, it's not going to be G, G, uh, G minor. So then you can just move it, uh, for example, to F and try again. And there you go, that G sharp is also off again. So what I'll do is I'll just move it down again and try E minor and see if this one's right. Until now, it's sounding right until now. Also sounding good. And it's all sounding right until now. And they all sound good. So you can play up and down. And all around like with this and just see. And as you can see, um, they all sound good. So I think this, uh, this loop is in E minor. And um, if you're still not sure, what you can also do is you can double click on the sample and you can edit in audio editor. So right click here, edit in audio editor. And what you can then do, right click on the sample, then press regions, detect pitch regions. And it will open up, uh, it will like show this thing here, which is pretty much showing all the keys in which key this loop is. So as you can see this part, this first chord here is played in E and then E here, and then it's A and then F. A, F, as you can see, these are all like in the E minor uh, chord progression. So that kind of like confirms, that kind of like confirms that, that that was right, that we had the right uh, scale down before. So yeah, it's E minor and that's the way you can check as well. But um, this isn't always completely right. So I would um, more advise to do the first way I showed you, but yeah, that's that's just another way you can do it. Then while we're at it, while while we're at it, I might as well quickly show you how you find out the the BPM of a sample. So if you have this sample and you don't know the BPM of it, you can go right here to this thing here, click on it, and then you can click detect tempo. As you can see here. It's 160 estimated, which is right. So if you don't know the tempo of a loop, you can just click on here and then boom, it's 160. What you can also do is play through it and use the tapper. So that's this here, you click here and you get this tapper. And every time the beat hits, you can just tap it and it will give you the right tempo. So I can do that for as an example now quickly. So look, I'm tapping it now as if it's like the hi-hats. And as you can see, I'm getting pretty close. I'm at 159 now. Now it hit 160. So yeah, you just tap it. And as you can see, 160. That's right. And uh, yeah, that's how you get. That's how you get that. Um, that's how you figure out the tempo. There's also a way you can do it through Edison as well. So you double click, edit in audio editor again, and uh, you can right click up here, and then you can press auto detect, and then quick estimation for short loops, for example, and tempo 160. So that's also right. With, like with finding the key in here, it's not always right. So you can't always be 100% sure why. Well, so yeah, that's how you find the key of a sample. That's how you find the tempo. That's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this, leave a like. You know, comment what you want to see from me. What if you need help in anything what kind of videos you want to see also and uh, subscribe check out my other channels and peace